this video I will be reviewing and testing the automatic emergency braking and collision alert on Nissan cars. Here's a 2022-2023 Nissan Sentra and this video applies to most 2020-2023 Nissan cars. First, I want to say that automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection is different than front collision warning alert and I'll be focusing on the collision alert in this video. To start off, let's see what this is. The car monitors up to two cars in front of it and measures the distance from those cars to yours. If it senses the cars in front decelerating, the car sends an audible and visual alert on the dashboard warning you that you're getting closer to the cars and in extreme cases the car may automatically apply the brakes to avoid a collision or at least minimize impact so. now it's very hard to make the car automatically brake on purpose it takes an extreme case scenario to see it in action so i tested the car in different scenarios to different days day and night so let's see how it went as you can hear the car sends an audible and visual alert telling you that you're getting closer to the car in front also I've noticed that the alert sound varies there are three to four different sounds And I've also noticed that the riskier the situation, the sound beeps faster. And when the situation is minor, the sound beeps slower. I found out that collision warning works in different scenarios. One of them is when the car in front brakes suddenly. Another is when the car in front of you is about to turn left or right into a business or street. And I've seen this is the most common scenario. And the last scenario is when the light turns green, but the car in front of you suddenly brakes or you accelerate too fast and that triggers the alert. Those are the three most common scenarios that you'll face the most. Now, let's see how it performs on the highway at high speeds. During this clip, I'm sure the automatic brake was activated because the car braked more than I expected and you can also hear the tires locking briefly. In addition, there are various ranges. The first is what I call close range, then mid range and long range. And this is an example of a long range situation and the cars in front start slowing down, triggering the alert to avoid a possible collision. Now, how reliable is this radar sensor? I would say it's very reliable. I would rate it 8 out of 10. And that's because the car rarely misses a situation and when you least expect it or when you're not thinking about it, 
the car will alert you and that brings you back to awareness. So like I said earlier, it's very hard to make the car brake automatically on purpose. It requires an extreme scenario and that is a risk that I am not willing to take. But I already showed you a clip where the car breaks automatically. However, I will be uploading another video describing automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection. The only flaw I noticed is that the car is unable to detect an alert of cars crossing in front of you. So it's best to not fully rely on technology alone. That's it for this video, leave a like and subscribe.